we're back. We uh, got the footer good and cured and it's uh, looking really good actually. I just put the big level on it. Looks perfect. Right now got a couple of stakes in the ground. I just leveled those up. I'm going to use those to run my string line off of to keep my bricks level as we're going up. And then I got out the diamond blade on the seven inch grinder and I've been using that to cut some of these bricks in half and making my half bricks to fill in on the ends and in behind where we're running our uh, drainage lines through to make sure there's no water building up behind the wall. So I think I got everything prepped and I think I'm ready to uh, start mixing up some mortar so we can go ahead and start laying some brick. Hoping to get at least a few courses done before it gets dark this evening. So let me show you exactly what we got going on here. All right, so here's our footer and you can see I've taken a uh, black magic marker and just kind of sketched around the edge here. What I did was uh, tie a st string to it and then I had Amber hold it on that corner and then I drew a semicircle, uh, nice arch there on our footer. That way I knew exactly where to put the outside edge of the brick, keep everything lined up with the corner. That's the plan anyways. Then uh, we cut some bricks in half, went and got some more loaded up in the back of the cart. And as I mentioned, used the uh, big grinder with the diamond blade on it. It waded through them pretty easily. This gives you a really cool cross section of, the, of these bricks. I mentioned to you how they were hand formed and you can see the layers where the clay was packed into the form and then the dark uh, clay in the center there. Pretty cool. But uh, got a bunch of those cut in half. So we'll use those on the ends because we're gonna do a staggered pattern and that'll enable us to keep it stronger and then these uh, little half blocks will fill in the ends. And then also it's a double row of block or double row of bricks. And then we'll use some of those halves on the back where I'm gonna put a couple pieces of three quarter inch pecs through to allow the water to drain out. That's the plan anyways. And then I got the rest of the bricks laid out here. And then a few more whole ones in the back of the cart here, ready to get stacked on. So I'm gonna mix uh, over there. Next to the scaffold, I got my wheelbarrow over there, my hoe and everything, water source. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a bag of, of uh, mortar mixed up. And then we'll come over, get our mortar bed laid out across our footer and go ahead and start laying our brick in. So I'm excited to get started. I'll keep you guys posted. All right, first bucket of mortar is gone and I've got one whole row and I'm starting with the second row. It's going pretty well so far. There's definitely a learning curve here. Never build a brick wall. So definitely learning exactly how much mortar to put on the brick, where to apply it, how to do the joints. I'm going to have to go back and dress these joints up a little bit because i got a few of them that are sagging. The way this wall is radiused, uh, you know, if I took the time to, like, cut the bricks on an angle at the end, we could have done a tighter joint. But you know what? It's a retaining wall. I just want to make sure it's strong. It's going to get painted white. Uh, this first layer is below ground anyways, so hey, it's not that big a deal, right? So, again, learning curve. It's going to get prettier as it goes up. Uh, the most important thing is that this base is secured very well to the footer. And we're doing a good mortar bed and then setting these brick in nice and level. And then I just laid the big level on here from end to end just to make sure that I wasn't running off. And we are right on bubble one end to the other, so hallelujah. So what I'll do next is uh, go ahead and mix up another mortar, uh, bag of mortar, and then I'm gonna get my string run between my stakes, and that way I can go ahead and set a brick on one end, and set a brick on the other end, level those up, and then I'll use my string uh, to go across here. Don't necessarily have to do it that way, could just keep using my level, like I've been doing, and uh, going from brick to brick, but uh, might as well go ahead and put the string on there, that way it's a little bit easier to keep this nice and level as we're going up. So I'm going to get another uh, bag mixed and then we'll start keep on going up. Well, as you can see, it's very dark. <laughs> very dark. So just finished up the second bucket, most of the second bucket. It started uh, getting a little hard on me, so I ended up going ahead and dumping out just a little bit of it. But uh, got the whole first level done, and it's a double row. Got a good level all the way across, and then did my corner. And what I did here was turn a brick sideways to kind of tie the two rows together. 
and then went with a half brick to start my staggered pattern again and then started getting the uh, second row in. Went ahead and cleaned up everything off the top of this row. I got my three quarter inch water line running through there. That way if there's any water sitting behind the wall, that'll give it a good place to weep. Uh, we're gonna do gravel in behind here so that way it doesn't get uh, all choked up with dirt. Got a little cleanup to do on the dirt over here. It's, uh, I needed to dig it out a little bit more apparently, but at any rate, I'll wait until this uh, first row is getting dry. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'm gonna put some plastic down on top of this to uh, protect the mortar. That way it doesn't get washed out. And we'll go ahead and let this sit for a day or so, and then I'll mix up some more mortar and start laying brick again. So we're gonna wrap up there for the night. I gotta get uh, all my tools cleaned up and get loaded up here. And everything back to the house, because again, it's gonna rain tonight, so I gotta make sure I get everything put away. So I'll see you guys soon. We'll get this project uh, wrapped up, hopefully. All right, we're back at this project. It's uh, Tuesday evening after work, and I've just got everything set up, ready to go. It rained Sunday, so I couldn't get any more work done then. Uh, yesterday, worked too late, didn't have any energy or daylight to get any work done yesterday, so trying to get some knocked out today. I'm gonna mix up at least a couple bags of mortar and get as many bricks down as I can. Let me show you exactly where we left off, and then we're gonna get started. All right, so here's what things look like after sitting for a few days. You can see the mortar is hardening nicely, curing. Um, this base layer was a lot of fun, trying to get everything organized and level. Um, it was kind of a pain, but good news is we got it down, got it good and level, and now the second layer is going down a lot easier. These bricks are irregular. They're not all uniform. Uh, they appear to be hand-formed. And so they're not square, they're not all the same size, not all the same thickness. Uh, so it makes it a little challenging. You know, when you're working with brick off the shelf and they're all exactly the same, uh, you can get into a rhythm and everything goes together nicely. Uh, but here the gaps are bigger on one side and not the other. You need more mortar for one, less for the other. So you just gotta kinda play around with it. Uh, so I'm gonna take my time, just make sure to stay level all the way across here and then we'll uh, do an end block or an end uh, brick like I did down there to kind of tie these rows together. And then we'll go up to level three, see how much of this we can get done. You can see some blue tape there. That's our three quarter inch water line that I put underneath uh, the first layer of bricks down on top of the footer. And I got some tape over it just to make sure that no mortar gets stuck in there uh, that could seal it off. I'm gonna put some gravel actually uh, down in behind there and that'll make sure that uh, there's a clear channel for water to get into that and then out the other side and I put a piece on this side too just to make sure I don't slop anything on it and uh, seal that thing off. When we get done, I'll just be able to peel this part off and then this one, I'll just run a stick or a piece of wire or something through it, poke a hole in the tape and it'll be ready to rock. So I'm gonna mix up some mortar and uh, get cooking here. All right, so we got the full second course done. And it's looking pretty good so far. Unfortunately, I finished in the dark the last couple of times, so I haven't had a chance to come back and dress up the joints. So they look a little rough. Um, I think, though, most of this is going to be underground by the time I get everything graded off. Uh, if not, I can go ahead and hit it with the uh, grinder with our diamond cup wheel or a sanding disc or both and uh, get that cleaned up before we put any paint on it. So looking a little rough there, but um, that's okay. Again, I think most of it's going to be underground. The most important thing is it is strong. These bricks weigh in at about uh, 10 pounds a piece, and the time you get them all mortared together, double row like that, it is uh, substantial. So I'm thinking we'll go up probably five, maybe six more courses. I don't know. I'll see what uh, see what it looks like after we get a few more on here. See how tall it is, and kind of get a sense of you know how much dirt we're going to be able to hold back with it. Again, it's not gonna, it doesn't have to be super tall. We're just trying to retain this corner, keep it from sliding over the hill. And then the corner of our fence is gonna be right here too for the pool. So we also wanna make sure that that uh, is secure so we don't lose the post. So we'll probably go up probably another five or six courses of brick there. I'm gonna go ahead and get a uh, bucket mixed up and get started on this before it gets dark. All right, so it's dark again. 
but the third course is done. I wanted to quit a few times. Absolutely exhausted and uh, did not feel like working on this all night, but got the third course done. It's coming together pretty nicely. Starting to look like a wall. Hoping that uh, knock another one out tomorrow. They give me four and then maybe three more on Saturday. And that should be pretty substantial. This thing's beefy. <laughs> Man, these bricks are super heavy. And um, of course we're putting plenty of mortar to it. Shouldn't go anywhere in my lifetime. We poured a big footer under it with rebar. So I'm thinking this is gonna be here for a long time. All right, well, I'm gonna go clean up my tools and uh, shower and get ready for bed. Do it all again tomorrow.